Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Bootstrap list related classes. We have list dash unstyled class. As the name itself indicating, it is going to unstyle the list guys. It removes bullets, it removes left padding, etc, etc, etc. Let's see that I minimize the word. I double click to open the my first bootstrap site folder. Inside my first bootstrap site folder, we have created a default.html page. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to bootstrap demo. And we have linked necessary CSS and JavaScript files. Here in the body tag, I am going to create an unordered list. To the unordered list, I am going to add list items. I copy this code paste, paste, paste. I say file, save, minimize the notepad. I right click on default.html page, say open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open inside the Chrome. Title is set to bootstrap demo and the unordered list is displayed. I go back. I'm going to copy this code and paste down. File, save, go to browser and refresh. One more unordered list is displayed. Here we have bullets. Okay. And there is a left padding, you can see that. I go back, I'm going to use the class list dash unstyled. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the bullets are removed and the left padding is removed, right? So that is what list dash unstyled class does. It unstyles the list guys. Next we have list dash group class and list dash group dash item class. List dash group class unstyles the list that you should remember. It converts the list items into flex items. We discuss about flex in detail in the future video tutorials. At present you just remember that it converts the list items into flex items and places them in a column guys. Let's see that I go to notepad. I'm going to copy this code from here. I go down and paste the code here. I say file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that unordered list is displayed with bullets and left padding. I go back here. I'm going to use the class list dash group. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that bullets are removed. Left padding is removed. It has unstyled the list, right? And also it is going to convert the list items into flex items, places them in a column guys. Okay. Next what I do, I'm going to use the next class that is list dash group dash item class. What it does, it adds border, it adds padding to list items guys. Let's see that. I'm going to copy this class from here. I paste here dash item. Copy this, paste here, paste here, paste here. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that list items are surrounded by nice border and there is a padding around the content. That's what list group item class does. Remember that. Next we have list group item action class. List dash group dash item dash action class removes styles from the anchors guys. If you are creating a list of anchors, then you can take help of list dash group class, list dash group dash item class and list dash group dash item dash action class. Let's see that I go back here. I'm going to copy this code from here, come down and paste down. I'm going to convert these list items into anchors. So I say here a href hyperlink reference. I say here hash and I say here closing a tag. I copy this code from here, paste, paste, paste. File, save, go to browser and refresh. I go down, you see that we have items here, they are all anchors. We know that anchors are inline elements, they are displayed or placed one beside another. I go back here, I am going to use this class here. We know that what this class does, it is going to convert the items into flex items and places them in a column. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that the items are placed in a column, right? Next, what do we do? We are going to take help of this class, 
list group item class so that we can add border paste 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 i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the border is added around the anchor tags right and there is a padding is also added next we are going to remove this styling thing to remove the styling thing from the anchors we take help of list dash group dash item dash action class so i paste here paste here paste here paste here file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the styling from the anchors are removed so that is how you can use list dash group class list dash group dash item class and list dash group dash item dash action class next we have list dash inline class and list dash inline item class list dash inline class it unstyles the list list dash inline dash item class converts list items into inline block that's it let's see that i go back here i'm going to copy this code from here come down and paste down i say file save go to browser and refresh you should see one more unordered list displayed with bullets i go back here i'm going to use the class list dash inline i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that it has removed the bullets and it has removed the left padding next what do we do we are going to take help of the class list dash inline dash item i paste here i say dash item i copy this code paste here paste here paste here list dash inline dash item class converts list items into inline block so that they can be placed one beside another i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the items are placed one beside another to create the navigation bar you can take help of this list inline and list inline item classes guys you can also use list inline and list inline item classes with list of anchor tags i go back here i'm going to copy this code from here and paste down i'm going to convert this to anchor tag opening a tag and closing a tag here i want to say href hyperlink reference i say hash i'm going to copy this code from here paste paste and paste i say file save go to browser and refresh you should see the inline list of anchors you can see that right next we are going to understand list group item colors we understand how do we set background color to list items so there are some classes like list dash group dash item dash primary secondary success info warning danger light dark let's see that i go back here i am going to copy this code from here i paste that in this place i use one br tag in the middle so that we can see a gap file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we have the list here let's set the background color to this first list by using list group item dash primary i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the background color is set with a blue color i go back here i am going to copy this code and paste down here i say here secondary file save go to browser and refresh uh, you can see that it has applied the mid gray background color i go back i'm going to copy this code from here and paste down here i say success file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the green background color is applied i go back i'm going to copy this code from here and paste down here i say warning file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the yellow background color is applied i go back i'm going to copy this code and paste down next we have info file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the cyan color or you can say fairy tale blue color background is applied to this item next we have danger light and dark i go back i'm going to copy this code from here 
and paste down here i say danger file save go to browser and refresh it applies the red background color next copy this code and paste down here i say dark file save go to browser and refresh it applies the dark gray background color this is mid gray background color guys i go back i'm going to copy this code and paste down here i say light file save go to browser and refresh it applies the light gray background color so that is how you can apply the background colors to list items i hope you guys have clearly understood i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly try the code yourself experiment with more examples in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about bootstrap for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share this videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial